What's going on, Falcon fan? This is your Kondo coming back at you with another video. Guys, I've been gone for about a week, but I'm back. Had to take a break, just like our Atlanta Falcons, getting ready for this long 2023 season. Hopefully, we can get into the postseason so it'll be even longer. Guys, this is time for us to go and try to get some W's and get ourselves back into Super Bowl contention. Let's see, can we do that? But today, I want to talk about Michael Walker and potentially what he can bring for to the Falcons in 2023 season. We know this is a contract year for him, so we anticipate him to actually bring it. That's what guys do when they're trying to get that bag, get that second contract. You know, just propose to his fiance. So let's see what Michael Walker can bring to the Atlanta Falcons this offseason. So, guys, with that being said, if you have not already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Please hit that notification bell so you know not drop another video. Please hit the like button so I know you guys like hearing what I talk about. Then please share my video throughout the YouTube universe so more people can come in and hear me talk about, yep, these Atlanta Falcons. So, guys, like I said, we know Michael Walker actually was drafted by the last regime, right? 2020 season. COVID year came in. Actually, according to PFF, that was his best season as the Atlanta Falcon. The last two seasons, 2021, 2022, his numbers actually had dropped. In 2020, PFF actually ranked him at a 74 um, percent as a linebacker. In 2023, all the way down to 58.7. For some reason, in the DP's um, scheme, he actually fell out of favor with the defensive coordinator for some reason. Couldn't get on the field. When he did, he just did not play as well as the coaching staff like. So he kind of started to lose, you know, play time. Of course, it probably was trying to get a guy like Troy Anderson on the field. Guy that we call, you know, had so much talent, raw talent. We want to see what he can actually do. That's what you do when you're, you know, a young team trying to get your young guys on the field. Um the, the Falcons got so much a high regard for Troy Anderson, and hopefully he can actually live up to that. Of course, he was a second-round pick of um, the Atlanta Falcons last season, so we're going to see what Troy Anderson can actually do this year. I think Michael Walker is definitely going to be the third linebacker coming on the field behind Caden Ellis and Troy Anderson. But the question is, did, did DPs utilize Michael Walker in the right way? You know, in his last two seasons here with the Atlanta Falcons. And if you go back to what he did at Fresno State, you know, he rushed the passer a lot. He was a lot of a lot of um rushing the passer on the off the line coming out, going to get the quarterback. He he does have all the ability to play in, in, in coverage. If you look at he do do have three interceptions. One he actually returned for a touchdown against Cam Newton a couple of seasons ago. So, in my opinion, if the Atlanta Falcons could use Michael Walker a little bit different, a little different than the way that Dean Pease used him, I think it would kind of help him a little bit more. You know, coaches always need to put players in the best position for them to be successful. And in my opinion, Michael Walker is better probably in coverage. So, we can definitely use him, utilize him in coverage. Actually, I think he's a little bit better in coverage than Troy Anderson is right now. You know, Troy Anderson is a raw talent. You know, played all over the, over the field, offense, quarterback, running back, and he plays on linebacker in Montana State. So he's still trying to learn the position. But you know, his ability, that speed, that um size, and everything, I think he's going to get it eventually. But I think Michael Walker has is actually a little bit better in coverage right now than a guy like Troy Anderson. Hope Troy Anderson can take that jump. You know, from year one to year two, like we all see young guys do. But Michael Walker. Is already there from a coverage standpoint, where he where he really struggles at is really in run defense. That's probably why you know he kind of fell out of favor with Dean Pease because not able to you know fit run fits and things like that. His anticipation is a little slow, but I think if you use him differently, use him like I said in pass rush, utilize him in the zone. I think that'll definitely help Michael Walker out a little bit. Um, I know I talked about the 4-2-5 using that Sam Rover position. Michael Walker could definitely play that position because, like I said, he's really good in coverage. And then he's able to rush the passer well. 
he actually have three sacks um actually two sacks on his on his you know career so far he actually have five quarterback hits and he has three forced fumbles so things that he actually can do he have five tackles for a loss so michael walker has a a you know a upside to him that i think could be utilized if you put in the right position to be on any team right now like i said he's definitely going to be behind a guy like troy anderson a guy like k ellis but the way they utilized um k ellis with the Aints last season under ryan nielsen um i can see on michael walker kind of utilizing the same way you know in coverage coming off in in pass rush we always got to get no we always need more pass rush so we able to utilize him that way he did have a big sack in the new orleans Aints game on the first game of the season last year um rushing the passer i think that's one of his strengths also in coverage but guys t let me know what you think about marker walker do you think he has opportunity to get that second contract with the atlanta falcons um I think he's definitely safe to be on this roster because of the lack of experience in the linebacker room at, at this point. But, um, you know, going past this season, is there a, a place for Michael Walker on this Atlanta Falcon squad? That is, is yet to be seen. This is a big off season for him, just like I mentioned for I, um, Ade Okendeji. Um, this is where Michael Walker needs definitely to, to, to prove that he belongs on this team. This defense is much improved, and whatever he can bring to help contribute to make this defense assist in the passing game or definitely, you know, getting out the quarterback, that's what we need to see from Michael Walker. But, guys, I definitely want to know what you think about Michael Walker. What role do you think he could be utilizing this year to best, you know, suit his abilities and the things that he can help the Atlanta Falcons? Let me know. This is your boy, Ricundo. Coming back at you with another video. Peace.